Almost 50 years ago, America's National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, sent the last people to explore the Moon and the Apollo 17 mission on December 1972. There were supposed to be three more Apollo missions after that but they were cancelled due to budget constraints, focusing on satellites and space stations, lack of public interest, and safety risks. Since then, NASA focused on low Earth orbit and the Space Shuttle program, the latter being cancelled in 2011. Throughout this period, there were plans to go to the Moon and Mars by different governments and private companies. But in 2017, hope to go back to the Moon was rekindled through the planning of the Artemis program that intends on going back to the Moon. The reason of the Artemis program to even exist is because it is an important step to further exploration of deep space like the planet Mars. So today, I will explain what the Artemis missions are, their goals, what is expected to happen, and its implications. So, what exactly are the Artemis missions? According to the official NASA website, the Artemis missions intend to land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. They intend to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before as well. The name Artemis comes from Artemis, the Greek goddess of the moon and the twin sister of the god Apollo. Remember, Apollo was the name of the NASA program that sent the first moon missions. The launching of the Artemis missions starts this year, in 2022, and will continue throughout this decade and the early 2030s. Aside from the goals mentioned earlier, the Artemis missions plan to build an Artemis base camp on the Moon, and a gateway probe in lunar orbit. The Artemis base camp would become an area where astronauts could stay for up to two months on the Moon. Gateway would become a space station that will support the later Artemis moon landings. The astronauts will be carried to the Moon by the Orion spacecraft, which would sustain the astronauts. The Orion and the cargo, in turn, will be lifted by NASA's Space Launch System or SLS, which is one of the world's most powerful rockets. The astronauts would walk to the Moon from the Starship Human Lander System, which is the Artemis program's equivalent of the Lunar Module 50 years ago. This year, the Artemis 1 mission will launch. Artemis 1 will become the maiden flight of the SLS rocket and the complete Orion spacecraft. Artemis 1 will have no crew and will be in space for an estimated 37 days. Inside the spacecraft are 10 cube satellites, 3 mannequins, NASA's Snoopy, ESA's Sean the Sheep, and a hard drive that contains the names of people who got an Artemis digital boarding pass. The spacecraft will go to the moon, stay in a stable distant retrograde orbit for a few weeks, and then return to Earth. Attempts to launch were made on August 29th and September 3rd, but were cancelled. The first attempted launch was cancelled because of engine problems. The second attempted launch was cancelled because of a fuel leak. The next possible window for launch is on September 19th. Artemis 2 will be a crewed lunar flyby that will take 10 days and is planned to happen in 2024. It will have a crew of 4. Artemis 3 will happen in 2025 and will be the first crewed moon landing in 53 years. It is expected to land on the moon's south pole. Two astronauts will stay in the moon for six and a half days, while the other two will stay in Orion. The astronauts would do some scientific operations on the moon, including sampling lunar ice. Fun fact, there is water on the moon. Artemis 4 will involve the assembly of the Gateway Space Station in 2027. There are proposed missions Artemis 5 to 10 but no one is still sure what they would be about or if they will happen. The Artemis program is the first step in NASA's bigger moon to Mars concept. Technologies tested on the moon will be important for future missions to Mars. Understanding the moon would become an important step in understanding more about the solar system as a whole. Technology on the moon may allow long-term habitability in there. Finally, exploration to the moon and Mars are intertwined, meaning the moon voyages are just practice runs compared to the arduous 55 million kilometer journey to Mars that is yet to come. We the young Artemis generation according to NASA, will be able to see what possibilities of space exploration will happen in the future.